this is Therapy Healing Crystals.com, and this is the Zodiac Crystal card reading for the week of March 20, yeah, March 21st to March 27th. Um, happy first day of spring. Um, it, here on the East Coast, it's still a little chilly, but um, hopefully, it's still a happy first day of spring for you. Um, it's always a happy first day of spring, let's face it. You know, spring is a great time new energies it's a time of renewal and, and that's great so let's see what what the cards have to tell us I've already done my shuffling and my drawing and everything like that so um the first card that came up was the Pisces stress card um this is the card that represents us in the coming week and you know what this makes perfect sense we still have Pisces energy hanging around um even though this the the Sun moved into Aries there's still a few planets in 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 Pisces and the universe is not absolute, especially when it comes to its energies. You know, stuff lingers. And I think this really goes with with the theme that, that I've been talking about a lot of looking back before you start going ahead. Okay, so it, it's a good time to, you know, before you're going to start feeling as, as, as the Aries energy picks up speed, you're going to feel more like you're ready to go. You might already feel that right now. And that could be why the stress card is coming out, is you feel this urgency. I can tell you personally, I, I was just telling my son earlier today, I keep trying to get things finished, and somehow it just doesn't happen. It's, it's, it's like this, something keeps, keeps preventing me from completing certain things. Um, and I think the reason, and it's stressful, and the reason that that's happening is because it's just not time for me to complete those things yet. There is still work to be done. Um, and, and I think that's what the universe is trying to tell us here. It's trying to remind us, don't be in a rush. Take your time. Look back. You know, it, there's a lot of stability that you can gain from recognizing your feelings um, because they're always changing and from really understanding what it is that you really want, what's going to really make you happy before you start moving forward and going after something. And I think that's what this card is trying to tell us is don't be in a rush, still take the time to think, reflect, you know, um, before you move forward, okay? And that, that's how you're going to feel best and that's how you're going to thrive. So that, that's the card that represents us in the coming week. The second card that, that I drew is the card that is going to represent the greatest strength and the greatest weakness for the week, and that's the Sagittarius Love card. Um, by the way, I didn't mention that the crystal represented here is fluorite, which is a really nice card for this time of year because fluorite, um, fluorite can be a very mentally, it can, it can help you to be very mentally active. Um, it can stir your imagination and all that good stuff. But it can also help you to be very reflective and to be very health conscious and think about what it is that's really going to be best for you. Um, the Sagittarius Love card and the crystal represented here is the green kyanite. Obviously, love can always work to your advantage. Um, and especially, you know, I think this is bringing up fire energy. Obviously, we, we're moving into, we've just moved into to a fire sign, the, the uh, Aries. Um, you know, Sagittarius is, is a little bit more mindful than Aries. Um, Aries, Aries energy is very, um, it, 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 it's, it's more like acting without thinking, while Sagittarius is actually thinking things through a little bit more before they act. It's a little bit more intellectual, not always in the best sense. Sometimes, an action calls for just going and doing and, and that's what this time of year is all about um, but in this case what what I think the Sagittarius love card is trying to tell us um, you know what is it that you love once you know that that does make everything a lot easier and I think if you if you follow your heart then you can't go wrong and that can be your greatest strength how this can be a weakness is if you only rely on what you love and what your heart tells you because the truth is love it, it may sound really good love is enough it really isn't you need other things okay you need to balance that emotion that energy with other things common sense practical actions 
you've got to do the work. And I think what this is telling us is that, you know, this is a good time with, with fire energy as your ally. This is a good time to take actions, to do the work, to have the courage to move forward with something um, that, that really matters to you. Don't just sit back and say, you know, and, and expect that just wanting something and, and caring enough about it is going to be enough to help you get it. Okay? So that's our greatest strength and greatest weakness. And then the last card that I drew, this is the card um, that's kind of the surprise that the universe has for us this week. <clears throat> and this card is the Libra stress card. And um, the crystal represented here is Charoite. Libra, it, this is a good card if, if um, you're trying to overcome fears. Libra is always afraid that Libra energy, I should say, it, is it, it brings up fears in us that we won't be able to maintain a balance because that's what Libra is all about. Libra is about balance. And I think that what this card is trying to tell us is that sometimes you have to you have to forget about all of that and trust that you're going to achieve that balance even if right now it seems like things are not balanced things are not working in your favor things are not going the way that you want them to no, no matter how hard you're working it seems like something just still isn't right um, and that can cause you that obviously is going to cause you a lot of stress I think what the universe is trying to tell us and it's interesting too because we've got um, a full moon in Libra coming up this week um, I think what the universe is trying to tell us is trust that everything is going to work out okay and that um, the, um, the, the balance is going to be restored in your life you have to just stay positive stay optimistic keep working towards achieving that state of peace within your own life and you will find it. Um, don't let fear replace your willpower. You're, you're you know, going after what you love. Um, I think that's what this card is trying to tell us. Don't forget to check out the weekly and daily horoscopes on HealingCrystals.com and on our Facebook page, Crystal Talk. Have a magical, happy week.